Five Sigma's fun, but forensics solves crimes. <clears throat> okay. Five Sigma's fun, but forensics solves crimes. Chin up. But Sigma could not believe what my mother. What are you doing? 89, 90, 91. I'm just um, I'm doing my usual 100 brushes a day. What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're singing into your hairbrush and practicing for your summer camp talent show. That's absurd. The camps I went to never had talent shows. What's that? A thrombotic, thrombocytopenic. These are the worst lyrics ever. I'm practicing for my next lecture. Yeah, how did it go today? It went well. Too well. What happened? Nothing. Um, it's just that now there are expectations that I'm gifted as a teacher, and I don't exactly know what I did for anyone to think that, so if someone or anyone comes to my next lecture and they're disappointed, maybe they won't like me, and maybe I don't want them to anyway. Okay. Um, someone paid you a compliment that you're not really handling well because you met a guy. <gasps> and you like him. <gasps> Who is he? His name is Jack Armstrong. Jack Armstrong. He's a professor. A professor. He knows how to use tools. He's smart and he's funny and he may actually be a grown up. Seriously? And when I look at him, I picture us having sex. If you get my drift. It'd be impossible not to. But okay, so what? Why are you so upset? Because, because I know that it just won't work between us. There's just no way. He's married? No, yeah, divorced, six years, has a daughter. He's about to be deported? Born and raised in Michigan. Department rivalry, like a Jets, Sharks kind of thing? It's Jane, it's not gonna work because it, it just can't. Because every time I feel this way about someone, it ends badly. Okay, well, hang on a second. I mean, I, I've never seen you like this. You're, you're swooning. <sighs> To swoon is to faint from emotion. I know, but I don't have a word for singing in a sexy voice into your hairbrush. No, come on, give the guy a chance, okay? It's Frankie, I gotta go. Here. Okay, and we're sexy, sexy, sexy. Go away, sexy. Dr. Oz? Yes. Hi. Sign it, please. Thank you. Thank you. He wrote the card in Latin. Barf. What kind of flowers are these? It's actually a tree. And over the next two weeks, the roots are gonna get so strong that they're gonna break the ceramic pot unless I replant it with enough room to grow. Latin card and a metaphor plant? He could be your soulmate or your clone. The truth is, I have been doing a field study on dating for over 10 years and I can no longer ignore the results. There is no Mr. Right out there for me. Uh, come on, All right? You can't look at relationships like they're scientific experiments. The guy who I had the most amazing sexual chemistry with, a face licker. Yeah. And the next guy who I had feelings for ended up dead and I was framed for his murder. We, to be fair, getting murdered was not his fault. For all we know, he, he could have been a wonderful boyfriend. And then the guy who said that he really wanted my body, he meant it literally because he was a serial killer who made sculptures out of dead women's bodies. Yes, that was unfortunate. Yeah. But, would a serial killer send you a romantic metaphor plant? I'm not sure. The Narium oleander has two meanings. It's rare and beautiful and also deadly. Really? Mm. God, do you think a guy would brush up on his botany before sending you a tree with mixed messages?